So here's what I want to do uh, on the introductions of setting up for this panel, which of course is on the international initiatives that are being engaged in towards disarmament. So because I had the honor on behalf of Peace Action National and Peace Action New York State to travel around the world last year, I spent August in Japan, along with Joseph Gershon and many others, and uh, when we were both in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And that was in August. And after being there, the, the thing that happened there, to show you how intersectional our work is, the French representatives invited me to France in November to their National Congress, their Peace Congress. And the flag that you see, because I'm a member of the French Peace Movement <laughs> as well, uh, is I wanted to bring, because, and Jonathan, and no one else knew in terms of this international section where we're at now, I did not know that this would be a chance to bring their spirits into the room with us. And I bring also a message from them to let you know the same way that we're gathering and that we're attempting to knock down the walls that separate us generationally, they are too. When we were getting ready to come up here, one of the things that struck me was, you know, in this room, and um, Michelle has already done it, but I thought to myself as I sat, because of the oncoming, brilliant, strong, talented wave of peacemakers, I'm talking about our students, we would have had hashtags up. We would have had a whole lot of other things going on that would have had us all going, and we wouldn't be in the old mode where we just sit and look for an entertainment kind of like presentation. Because the reality is, these are not moments of entertainment. These are moments of entertainment. And sometimes we forget. And so I just kind of wanted to bring that to our attention. I also want to say to you that this is a moment in, for us to think about what I've uh, been studying on now is called emergent strategies and is rooted in emergent science. Um, emergent science is uh, where complex patterns and systems arise from relatively, relatively simple interactions. Sometimes we're in a room and we know young and old, and let's be honest, we know that there's been gaps, assumptions, oh, they don't get it, or oh, they, they got it, but they got it the wrong way, and we don't really make the connection. So I want to say, to the young people in the room, use this as a laboratory. Use this as a moment to use your park voice, whether asking questions or making statements. And do understand, this is not a session where you sent, sent, have been brought and asked to come and participate in it just to sit. I want you to stir up all your energy and your intellect. And I want to say to you all, Thank you for your service. Now, why is he saying that? I say that because I'm a combat veteran of Vietnam. And I'm sick and tired of folks telling me, thank me for my service. Because if we really knew what we were sending our young people and older people, male and female, into when we sent them to these areas, we would be shamed. And we wouldn't say, thank you for your service. We would say, we apologize. But I thank you because for me, while I was in the belly of the beast, what saved me was the voice of the movement, the peace movement. The activities of the peace movement saved me. And um, in my understanding of the proverb, there's a proverb that goes around saying, when your hand is in the lion's mouth, you have to be careful how you pull it out. And so hearing those words, knowing where there was oxygen and life in the movement, I had to get to it, but I had to be careful. 
but I thank you for your service. Without further ado, because I can go <laughs> a little while, and I won't do it here, but I want to go to our panelists, because this is a moment where we need to like really get quite serious. You heard it stated already, the other teams, uh, they're not playing, and they're well financed to do the damage that they are indeed doing. And all we have is commitment, heart, and faith to keep hope alive. This panel on the international initiatives towards disarmament. Um, our speakers will be Joseph Gershon, the Honorable John Tierney, Charles Knight, and Chuck Johnson. And I will, I'm not going to do any telling you what they're about. They will do it in their own way. And I would encourage you after the panel and through the day that you get up close and personal and get their cards in contact so that you can stay in contact. And young people, I would encourage you, start building your legacy of history. Get your pictures, because you'll need them to knock down some walls when you get back to your campus and your community and to use the leverage of those connections. So I'll stop there, and we'll start with Joseph Gershon. <laughs> 